Hello, my dear students. How are you today? I hope you are all good. Today, inshallah, we're going to make a quick revision for the text. You're going to listen to the text from the CD. Then we're going to answer reading comprehension exercises in your pupil's book, page 84, and workbook exercises, page 72. Please open your box and pay attention. Pupil's book, unit 8, page 82. Reading A Message for the Inca King It was before dawn when Poma heard a voice. Wake up, Poma! Wake up! somebody whispered. Poma opened his eyes. In the dim moonlight, he saw the face of his old teacher. Poma sat up in surprise. Shh! said his teacher. Don't speak. Get dressed and follow me. Hurriedly, Poma put on his tunic. The other boys were sleeping. He stepped quietly past them and followed the old man outside. As silent as shadows, they crossed the courtyard and entered the great hall. Poma's teacher led him towards a small doorway in one corner. Messengers did not usually go through it. The rooms behind the hall were part of the palace. Suddenly the old man stopped and spoke. Listen, Poma, he said. You are the youngest messenger in the palace, but nobody runs as fast as you. You are not yet seventeen, but you are as brave as any man. Now you have an important task. Come. Poma followed the old man through the narrow doorway and along a short passage. They entered a large room where lamps burned brightly. The golden walls glowed like the evening sun. Two men stood near the doorway. They were talking quietly. They stopped when they saw Poma. Their tunics were fine wool with delicate patterns of gold. These are important people, thought Poma. A table stood in the middle of the room with a gold chair next to it. There were silver cups on the table, but the chair was empty. Poma heard his teacher say, This is the boy, Prince Erko. A tall man appeared from the shadows. He wore a heavy cloak over his tunic. Bands of gold circled his head and his arms. A collar of gold and rare jewels was around his neck. He beckoned to Poma, and the boy stepped forward. The prince looked carefully at Poma for a moment. You are strong, he said, but you must be clever too. You must take a message to the king. You must remember every word. He leaned forward and spoke clearly. Repeat, he commanded. Poma repeated the message. The prince nodded. Now go, he said, and do not fail. Poma left the room and ran back through the hall. He crossed the shadowy courtyard and ran out onto the road. Then he ran straight on, out of the city gates and towards the forest. I must not fail, he repeated. I must not fail. Now look at question number one in your pupil's book, page 84. We can match the sentence beginnings with the correct endings. بتوصل البداية لكل جملة مع النهاية المناسبة لإلها. Number one. It was before dawn when. بكنا كانت قبل ضوء أو قبل الفجر. We match number one with D. Poma heard a voice. لما سمع Poma صوت. Number two. Hurriedly match it with E. Poma put on his tonic. وضع Poma رداءه أو سترته بسرعة. Now sentence number three. بحكينا as silent as shadows. 
match it with sentence G. They crossed the courtyard. بحكي لنا بالصمت في الظلال قطعوا they crossed the courtyard قطعوا المساحات أو الأراضي. Number four. Suddenly, the old man stopped and spoke. الرجل الكبير توقف وبدأ بالكلام. So number four match it with A. Number five. They entered a large room where number five matched with at lamps burned brightly. لما في المكان اللي كانت في الإضاءة تحترق بشعاع أو بلمعة. Number six. A tall man appeared. رجل طويل ظهر. Matched with C from the shadows. ظهر من بين الظلال. Number seven, he beckoned to Poma and matched with B. The boy stepped forward. Number eight, Poma left the room and matched with sentence F. Ran back through the hall. Now let's see question number three. بحكي لك read, write the word, write the letter of the picture. بدك تقرأ بعدين تكتب الكلمة وتكتب حرف الكلمة كمان عن الصورة اللي بتحكي عنها الجملة. Number one بحكي لنا a piece of clothing you wear round your shoulders قطعة من الملابس ترتديها حول أكتافك اللي هي the cloak picture number C. Number two a very large room اللي هي القاعة غرفة كبيرة جدا اللي هي الهول and match it with picture D number three a loose piece of clothing like a long t-shirt اللي هي التونيك السترة and match it with picture E number four an open space with buildings all around it اللي هي الكارت يارد الأرض and match it with picture B Number five and the last sentence: the dark shape when something is blocking the light. He is shadow and match it with picture A. He is a vil. Now we're going to move workbook exercises. Look at question number one in page seventy-two. بحكي لك read a message for the Inca king again. ده ترجع تقرأ درس الرسالة إلى ملك الإنكا. Number the sentences in order. بدك ترتب الجمل بالترتيب الصحيح أو المناسب لإلها. Sentence number one هي اللي هي sentence E. Poma heard a voice. Number two هتكون جملة at. Poma sat up in surprise. بتحط عندها number two. Three اللي هي sentence J. They the other boys were sleeping. الأولاد الآخرين كانوا نايمين. This is number three. Number four, Poma's teacher led him towards a small doorway at the far end. Number five, they entered a room where the lamps burned brightly. Now number six, uh, there were silver cups on the table, but the chair was empty. Here sentence B. Number seven, the prince looked carefully at Poma for a moment. Here is sentence C. Number eight. Here is sentence A. He leaned forward and spoke clearly. Number nine. Here is sentence F. Poma repeated the message. And number ten. Here is sentence G. Poma left the room and ran back. Now let's move to question number two. بحكي لنا ب question two. Choose the best word to replace the underlined words. بدك تستبدل الكلمة اللي محطوط تحتها خط بكلمة من الكلمات اللي موجودة عندك بالصندوق. Fail يفشل. Repeat يكرر أو يعيد. Hurriedly بسرعة. Down اللي هي الفجر. Whisper اللي هي يهمس. Speak quietly, said Molly. Speak quietly, يعني تحدث بهدوء اللي هي كلمة whisper اللي هي يهمس. Number two, Max was late and he packed his school bag in a rush. جمع حقيبته المدرسية بسرعة اللي هي hurriedly. Number three, I didn't hear you. Could you say it again, please? Say again, إنك تعيدها مرة تانية اللي هي كلمة repeat. We will have, we will leave at the moment when the sun comes up. 
when the sun when the sun comes up يعني لما تشرق الشمس اللي هي dawn الفجر oh dear said Alfie I will not pass this test. يعني ما رح أنجح بهذا الاختبار بستبدل not pass بكلمة fail اللي هي يفشل.